Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. And in the last lecture, we created these activities for login and the register. So in this lecture today, we are going to create layout for the login activity. And in the next lecture, we are going to create the layout for the register activity. So they're both going to have similar kind of uh, fields and components. So it's going to be easier to develop once we develop one layout. So let's go ahead and create the login layout. And by the end of this lecture, we are also going to run this application and see how our design is going to look like in the emulator or in the real device if you want to use your own device. Otherwise, we are going to use the emulator that I have already created here. So let's go ahead and design the layout that we need. So for the login layout, we are not going to have any extra fields. We are only going to have two fields, two text view. One is for the email and another one is for the um, password and we'll also have one button that let the user log into the application okay so let's go let's go ahead and do that so we are in the design section of the android studio so let's drag and drop the few things that we need so first things we need is a plain text so let me drag and drop that here and uh, let's fix the constraint and if you don't know about constraint layout and how it works then uh, you should probably go and watch some YouTube videos on that because you don't need to do it. But if you want to understand in depth how the constant layout works, then you should probably go and watch some videos. But for this lecture, you don't need to do that. You can follow along with me. So this is the layout that we needed. This is the component that we need. So the user can enter the email. So let's change the, let's delete this name from here let me select it and uh, let's say the hint so here it is and the hint is email address okay so so that user have the idea that this field is for the email address so let me give the constant of 16 dp now I'm going to drag and drop the password field and paste it here. And I'll also set the constraint in all four sites. And I'll give the padding top or the margin as 16 dp and make it as match constraint so that it will uh, occupy all the uh, available space here and give the 16 dp of padding or margin on the left and right side. Okay, so I'll also give the hint as the password. Okay, now we need to set the ID for this fields. So let me set that. Here we can change the ID and this is login e email. Okay. And click on refactor. And this is login password. And we also need to refactor that as well. So this is a simple layout that we're going to use. But if you want to add extra things here, you can do that. The only things we are interested in is that the inform information that is user that the user is going to provide to us. So those are the email address and the password. Now let's let me go ahead and add the button here so that user can click on login and they'll be able to and we'll be able to validate the data based on the button click okay so let me fix the constraint that we need and i'll also change the name from button to login okay and i'll also change the id as well so so this is a simple login layout that we're going to we're going to need for this application. Now let's go ahead and run this application and see how this design looks like in our emulator. So I already have I already have the emulator here. So I'm going to select one of them and click and run. Now it's it's going to start the emulator and it's going to open up our application. It's going to take a few seconds. Okay, the application is running now and you can see the email and password field is uh, displayed here and we also have the login button so this is how our login layout going to look like and uh, we'll also change this uh, title and everything in the coming videos in the coming lectures in the next lecture we are going to design the 
layout for the register activity and after that we will configure the email authentication and we will make this uh, layout working with our java code okay so i'll see you in the next lecture